modest roots in 1909, it's become the biggest annual event on the Canadian sports calendar. And we are ready for a game 100 years in the making. It's been played in mud, fog, snow and ice by legends and underdogs with staples and a 13th man has been captured by the Sarni Imperials and an Edmonton dynasty, and even once taken across the border. TSN, proud to present the 100th Grey Cup. Stamps and Argos are set their third ever meeting. It was Calgary in 71, Toronto in 91. Who wins number 100? Rene Paradez kicks it off, we're underway. And here's the outstanding player in the Canadian Football League in 2012. Chad Owens drilled. And Mark Way McDaniel checks back in. Second and six, a fumble. And Glenn gets back on it. Or does he? It's Argo football. Very much like a play last week in the Eastern Final that the Argos lost. Here, Ricky Foley comes up with the football. Week, Ricky Ray, 11 for 14 on second down. Second and 10, a pump. Time. And now he'll dump it off to Cacker, flying down, and Keon Raymond. Face mask, Calgary number 96. 15 yards from the end of the play. First down. First down, our goes Calgary, 17-yard line. Back inside, Cacker the hole, and Chad Cacker bulldozing inside the five. Another Argo first down. He's got his hands up in the grill. Andrew Jones in a tight end, and they'll swing it to the near side. Chad Owens, a man to beat. He does. Touchdown. The most outstanding player 2012 strikes first in the 100th Great Cup game. Stan Peters with only one first down of the game, second and ten. Glenn throwing, and that one is intercepted. Pacino horned inside the five, touchdown! First question is whether or not Pacino Horn got his arms underneath that football. It looks like from that first replay that he certainly did. That's an interception and a touchdown. An influenza outbreak canceled 19, 19's game. Pass over the middle and Nick Lewis. Wide oh, open and still going. Away he goes. Tony Younger will try to tackle him and covers him at the 25. Lewis lost the helmet, but he has just kick-started the Calgary offense 61 yards. Junior IU, some great names on that board. Fly sweep, Robbie Bryant's tackled back at the 10. Big defensive play to Jiro Kowali is having the game of the season for him. So Rene Paradez comes in. Boldy by Mitchell with the pin. And the Stampeders settled for three. Team for Dury, first down, 48-yard line. Dury set up as a back, and they'll pinch it. Cacker, back to Kreese. And he'll bulldog his way down to the 44. The number on his back for Chad Cacker is the Argo line of scrimmage after an 18-yard run. Checks back in for Mace. First down, Ray, lots of time. He wants Inman. If you give Ricky Ray this much time in the pocket, he is arguably the best deep ball thrower in CFL history, and there have been some great passers in this game. Jarius Jackson is in now. Takes the Cacker, swings it to Inman, walk in, touchdown. Had to wait two plays, but Inman's got his touchdown. And the Argos expand the lead. A little play action to Chad Cacker. Gets it out there to Dontrell Inman, and he walks in. And McCullough. Here's Cornish in space, and John Cornish across midfield. Lost his footing, taken down by Horn at the Argo 49-yard line. Went back in, second and eight. Off the edge, pressure over the middle. Nick Lewis hangs on at the 20, and it will be decision time now. At this occasion, Great Cup 100, one of the dominant players in the history of this great game, as Rennie Paradis puts it through. The NBC Sports Network fans watching Chad Cacker chew it up. Down to the 26-yard line. Eric Fraser, the safety with the tackle, but it's been a big night for Chad Cacker. Second punch, and they'll screen it to Cacker. 
Gets a block. Gets outside. And he'll be pushed out just short of the first down. From 20 yards out, Harris had trouble but got it down. Well, the rookie quarterback just got the pin in for Swayze Waters to add to the lead. Three receivers to that far side. They're looking that way deep at Maurice Price. Draws a flag. Step for step was Ahmad Carroll, but flags fly and it's a big gain for Calgary by a penalty. Glenn underneath, catch made, but McDaniel stumbling. And it's short yardage. And now do you leave the offense out or do you take three with still over 10 minutes to go? Well, you see the remarkable consistency of Rene Paredes. 26 consecutive field goal. They turn out to be the best $5,000 they spend this year. Here's Owens. Flag, and it'll be a 15 yard no yards and maybe more as Darius Brooks tosses him out and Calgary losing its composure. Unnecessary roughness, horse collar, Calgary, number 32. It's another 15 yard penalty. Wow. About 30 yards. For Calgary on the night. Catcher's going to try and pat it down. He gets outside. Down to the 15 and pushed out. They'll mark him at the 11 yard line. Chad Cacker over 100 yards rushing. Some of the great football players in this game's history. Second down. They swing it out. There's Andre Dury and the Toronto guy into the end zone. Touchdown. A great cup hero now. Andre Dury with a back-breaking touchdown. That's Nick Volpe, who played for the Argos in the Mud Bowl, has been with them for most of the last 60 years. Evan McCullough, a tackle. Nice. To get you where you are. Second and ten. Underneath, it's Matt Walter, the former Calgary Dino. Underneath, Mo Price, and he'll dive into the end zone. Touchdown. First catch of the game for Maurice Price, a guy many thought could be a difference maker today. Well, two kickers out there, Paradise goes to the far side, jump ball, and there's Bradwell to come down with it for the Argos. That will cue the Gatorade. The Toronto Argonauts have won the historic 100th. It is my pleasure to present the 100th Grey Cup to your hometown Toronto Argonauts!